You know, Cheebits, I have a question. Have you ever walked into a series and, you know, forgot what happened last episode? For instance, I mean, I completely forgot what happened last week in Love Stage's episode, and I walked into this episode of Love Stage and started it, and I'm like, oh shit, that happened. It just, um, wow, dead. The fuck? Just... <laughs> Uh, I, I guess I could say that we have a positive romance progression, definitely. I mean, it's obvious now. That's definitely positive romance progression. I mean, you have the entire ending part of this episode where Izumi says, Am I in love? And I'm like, well, okay. So now we know they're starting to have feelings for each other, which is kind of obvious Roma has feelings. But now Izumi's starting to develop feelings. And so now... They're probably going to have a couple. Now, here's the thing, okay? This episode, even though it had the beginning scene and the ending scene, majority of this episode was rather tame. I want to be honest here. The episode, for the most part, in the middle half of the episode, was mainly there for character development, for Izumi. For instance, he learned in this episode that never give up on your dream. No matter how many times you get refused or you get told that you shouldn't continue doing and striving for your dream, no matter how many times you get put down, you keep going for it. That's exactly what Izumi learned this episode, and it clearly shows you the development he got. For instance, I mean, he, as we know last week's episode, he was in an emotional state where he was depressed and didn't want to write long anymore, didn't want to do nothing, he didn't want to go home. I mean, right now, he was just so depressed pressed because he was told that he has no talent in the manga industry and then to see how this episode plays on that factor and it shows you that you know he needs to look past this of being told down and keep striving to be better and never give up really helps his character and it really develops him in a positive light now Roma for the most part really what he was used for in this episode was to help out Izumi get to the mangaka of you know Izumi's favorite mangaka get like a signature get a review from it and get it on his manga and then Izumi got his spirits put back up into an all-time high. Now besides that really that's all that technically happened I even mean, if you go into the part with the ending of the episode with Ray, Ray right now in this series of Love Stage is my favorite character because the way he acts the way how pushy he is and at the exact same time the way he was just so fucking worried in this episode about how Izumi wasn't going to come home. For instance, you have the entire bit where he's just texting on his freaking phone, and you find out in the middle of this episode towards the end that he sent Izumi 145 freaking messages. Text messages and like 20 missed calls. That is ridiculous. That is freaking ridiculous. And so it makes you think like, oh my god, this dude. He's more, he's a bigger stalker than freaking Roma. Really. So, my god, that did, wow, that was a really shocking, you know, turn of events in this episode, and we also get to see that Izumi realizes that Ray does care about him, not just as a person to get in showbiz and probably make him money in the entire industry money, but as a whole, Ray cares for Izumi as a person, and that's really what we get to see this episode, and this entire little couple episodes have been meant to show that Ray's just not a, a prick or a pushy person, he's actually a caring person that really cares about Izumi's well-being. Now, episode, for the most part, I did enjoy it. I want to be honest. I did enjoy the episode. It just, once again, I want to be honest. You know, I've said it multiple times in my reviews. I am raw to this type of series, and just seeing that beginning and seeing that ending, I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? That just, you know, it just, it's not my cup of tea, usually. It isn't, honestly. I'm going to be honest here. I think you all deserve my honesty. It's not my cup of tea. But, I it, honestly, it was a good episode. I mean, I see no flaws with it, honestly. I mean, the animation, like I always say, is on par. The, the freaking music is good. The progression with the romance is good. The character development is great. So, personally, a good episode. If you enjoy Love Stage, this was an amazing episode for you. So, tell me your thoughts about this episode of Love Stage, everybody. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? What was your favorite moments about it? I love all you so much. You have a wonderful day or not, wherever you live, please be safe. She be out.